Hey everyone, it's Mark O'Brien from Scalar, and I'd like to talk to you about our new UI. This is now available as a public beta. Under the user menu on the right, you'll notice you have an option for the new UI. And when you enable this, right out of the gate, you'll see we've now got dark mode. You also have the option to switch over to our traditional light mode as well. You'll notice that the functionality is very similar. We've just given an update to the look and feel to make it a bit more modern. Under the hood, we've migrated from Angular to React, which will allow us to accelerate new feature development going forward. When you've enabled the new UI, you'll see there's now a link to send us feedback. We'd love to hear your suggestions or any bugs you uncover. You can also switch back to the old UI here if necessary. For the most part, this should feel very familiar. This is your typical log overview page. You've got your graph at the top and a list of your log sources. Moving to the search page should look very familiar as well. We've got the search box at the top, your facets along the left, and uh, your logs in the center of the screen. A couple of new things we've improved on. When you click on a log line, it brings out a drawer from the side to be able to see the detail for those log lines. Previously, this required two clicks and brought up a modal dialog box that you had to dismiss before moving on. So with this configuration, it's much easier to click around and compare different log lines. The up and down arrow keys work as well. And clicking on a log line causes the drawer to go away. We've also made some improvements to dashboards. Uh, what you'll notice is that the layout is more flexible and you can actually click and drag to resize uh, elements. You can also click and drag to move them around. We've introduced a few new widget types as well. We've got the donuts, we've got a pie chart, and we've got big numbers. These are all driven by power queries. And there's also a quick link to go from a dashboard back to the power query. We noticed that as you add more dashboards, the list can get a little unwieldy. So we've added this new view all dashboards page. This lists out all the dashboards in your account and also gives you uh, names of all the graphs that are on each of the dashboards. There's also a search box at the top. We hope you enjoy the new interface and we look forward to hearing your feedback. Thanks.